So this is a little video about the show modes. We've got a few show modes down here at the bottom and uh, they deserve a little bit of an explanation just because you might want to be in one show mode or another dependent on uh, what you're actually doing. Yeah. So the default mode that every show starts in is what we'd call configuration mode. Uh, and that is the show being stopped. Now the show being stopped means that if I create a queue and I play it, by default it auditions. So that audition, let's close that for a second. So this audition means that rather than play through our normal outputs, it'll play through an audition bus if we have one set up. So that when we're adding cues in and we're playing around with it, if we're connected to a main uh, rig or a, you know, a, a, a show system, um, that it won't play out of our left and right stack, it'll just play out of our headphones or whatever it is we have set up, which is which is quite maybe a nice way to work if we're offline and we're just checking some things while the, the band's rehearsing or the, the actors on stage are taking care of certain things. Likewise, in configuration mode, any of the control pro control commands that we have set up within a queue, so MIDI or timecode generation or uh, TCP IP commands, all these sorts of things, um, if they're set up to fire with a queue, they won't fire when we're in configuration mode, which again is quite nice if we want to maybe uh, set an IP device and set uh, run show as a command string. Uh, but we don't actually want to send that command out at that point. We can set this all up and audition the queues without having to worry about starting other people's systems on the uh, on the same network. The other thing that doesn't work in configuration mode is the rules function. So if I have a rule set up fire next queue and ending, um, I'll actually add to that rule. So once that rule is set, it won't work whilst I'm actually in uh, configuration mode purely because uh, you know I, I might want to set all these things up but I don't want to trigger off a, a large series of events I just want to uh, set the things up yeah so after configure mode the next mode that we can enter into is initializing the show so at the beginning of a show or the start when we start an actual show there's a couple of things that need to happen uh, as part of that show starting so I'm going to initialize the show here and it's like the conductor raising his wand to say right everybody get ready so what this does is it is it puts a couple of things into motion for instance um, if we have a nine pin code uh, set up it would send the, the, the transport to the time code which we're going to be starting on uh, if we have a GPO set uh, then it'll put the GPO in its ready state whatever that's going to be whether it's open or closed um, things of that nature basically it's 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 getting everything ready to start so when, we're, when we've got the system set up, we can then have a look and say, okay, all of our GPOs are where they need to be, everything's set where it needs to go. And at that point, we can start the show. So when we start the show, that starts the show time code running. Um, if there are any timed queue lists, it might put them in chase if uh, they're set to be starting to chase, things of that nature. So we're actually running the show at this point. And at the now, if I start a queue, it'll the rules will work. Um, They'll play out of not an audition bus, but they'll play out of our, our normal buses, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, we also have a pause show. Pause show allows for everything to just be halted. Uh, that cues will stop, nothing will fire. Uh, it, it's a sa it's a safety mode. It's it's basically if I just need to hold everything off for two seconds and then we can resume uh, when I'm ready. Yeah, and then stopping the show. Okay, and we're back into configuration mode. So those are the show modes explained and, and why you would want to use them. Um, it is completely possible to do everything you need to do in show mode. So you can edit, you can configure, you can do all you want, but you're doing it online. And that's the only difference between it and the configuration mode. Yeah.